Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem here? We can change this to be 2, and uh, here we have 2 raised to power 3, then raised to power 6. 8 can be written as 2 raised to power 3, that's 2 times 2 times 2, then also divided by also here 2 raised to power 4, raised to power 3. 2 raised to power 4 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. Then minus also here 2 raised to power 4, then raised to power 3, divided by 2 raised to power 3 as well, raised to power 6. Then from here, we can apply the law of indices, that is these two power multiply from a raised to power m, then raised to power n, this becomes a raised to power m n, that's from the law of indices. Then when we apply that here, this will become 2 raised to power 18 divided by 2 raised to power 12 then minus 2 raised to power 12 divided by 2 raised to power 18 and from here we can also apply the law of indices where we have a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n this can be written as a raised to power m minus n so when we apply that here, this becomes 2 raised to power 18 minus 12. Then minus also 2 raised to power 12 minus 18. And from here, this will give us 2 raised to power 6 minus 2 raised to power minus 6. And uh, on this side, when we have a raised to power minus n, we can write this as 1 over a raised to power n so when we apply that there this becomes 2 raised to power 6 minus 1 over 2 raised to power 6 and from here we have over 1 here scm here is 2 raised to power 6 and then 1 go into raised to power 6 that will be 2 raised to power 6 times 2 raised to power 6 so we can write it as 2 raised to power 6 times 2 raised to power 6 then minus here 2 raised to power 6 goes in 3 raised to power 6 that's 1 1 times 1 is 1 then applying law of indices here as well same base multiply we can have the power now this is 2 raised to power 6 plus 6 which is 2 raised to power 12 then minus 1 over 2 raised to power 6 then from here 2 raised to power 12 is 4096 so this become 4096 4096 minus 1 over here 2 raised to power 6 that's 64 and from here this become 4095 over 64 and from the look of it here this is approximately 64 when we divide, it will give us approximately 64. Why? Because 64 squared will give us 4096. So therefore, from here, we can say this problem is approximately 64. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and also give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel and see you in the next class. Bye for now.